Hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. You don't, you don't hear me. I don't hear you.
Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? How are you? Can you hear me, guys and girls? Good evening, teacher. Okay, yes. okay I can't hear you. Hold on. Let me I... configure these real quick. All right, can you can you say something, guys? Let me see if I can hear you. Can you please say something? Hello? No teacher. <laughs> oh, I you can you hear me now? Oh, I said yeah, I can hear you, Patricia. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. But here in my my day was uh really Mm, but I was, I heard that that afternoon because in the hospital, <clears throat> some workers were working in the in the parking, and uh, they are making so much dirt, dirt. and uh, dirt is. Uh, dust. I don't. Um, like everything is getting dusty. Is that what you're trying to say? Dusty. Okay. Yes. And can you hear me? Yes, Hello? I can hear you. Oh, thank you. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm a little bit a uh, afflicted or what? Stressed. You're a little bit stressed. Why? What happened? <laughs> Because I am in another's house, you know. You're so, in another what? Another's house. You're in another house, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm in a different. I'm, I'm in a different place today too. I'm in yes, my. No. I'm in my office today, but I, oh. I. I stayed here because I was like, you know what? If I if I go to my house, I'm gonna run into traffic, right? And yes. then um, so I I stayed here and I went to the gym because we have a gym here. And then, oh. uh, so yeah, I recently, you know, I, I recently left the gym and, uh, and I have to work again, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> work, yes, work, it is. work, work, you know, so. But do you live in Santa Tecla? No. Mm -hmm. No? Oh. I live well, in Brazil. Now, I, I, I'm, I am very, no, okay. I'm very far from my house right now. I'm in, in San Pedro Nonarco. Wow, that's wow. crazy. Yes. You are that's... my neighbor today, tonight. It's really, yes. really, really far. <laughs> a little bit. Hey Patricia, you're you're a um uh, you're you're a generalist. You're are you you're a doctor, right? But yes. do you do you so um so are you in charge of uh, general medicine? No, I am um uh, gynecologist. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned that. You mentioned it. Uh -huh. It's just because I had I still have to bring my my electrocardiogram to a cardiologist, you know? Um yeah. because like every answer that I get, but, but oh my god, they're like a seguro is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. <laughs> they yeah. gave me they I know they gave me the results and they so so basically they um they gave me the results and and they were like I was like, okay, so where do I go now? And they were like, they literally did this, you know? That's crazy. Crazy. Yes. Crazy. Oh, yeah, we got to take care really of yourself. Crowded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's it's really crowded too. All right, but you know, uh, you know, thank goodness we're here. And uh, you guys are here. So, um, so it's Wednesday, guys. What's what's the plan for for Wednesday? You look oh, yes. different. I look, look different? different. Yes, you look different. It's better than yesterday. I look better than yesterday. Yes. <laughs> my it's just my hair. It, it's it's what I I I just you know I I took a shower right before okay. right after I left the gym. So yeah, so, yeah. It's, so I'm in my I'm in my office right now. You can't oh. see, but this is the office, yes. Yes. So anyways, so guys, um let's get started.
So we have a very important topic today. So we're going to go over indirect questions. Okay. That is our next topic. Indirect questions. Oh. Yes. So we're going to go over indirect questions. <laughs> so you might be wondering what indirect questions are. And thank you so much for asking that question. All right. So, all right. So we all know how to make a question, right? So how do we make a question without making a question? All right. All right. Let me, let me, it's like when we, it's like something we call in Spanish, you know, con escuela, right? No, not in Spanish, but you know, the Salvadorian, Salvadorian people, right? So has anybody ever asked you if you have a boyfriend? Because this is guys, right? And I'm not going to, I'm not going to ask about girls without, well, actually girls do, do too, you know, without asking you if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Has somebody yes. ever asked you that without asking, without asking directly, without asking directly, hey, do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Has, there, has anybody ever done that to you? Yeah. Yes. How? How do they do that? Uh, well, no, I haven't, I haven't asked to anybody, but someone has told or has asked to me before. Well. I've had, yeah, well, I, I did have experiences like that. Uh, I've had people, I've had people um, tell me something like, um, la novia no se enoja, right? That's indirect, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's something indirectly, right? Like they're asking you if you have a girlfriend, mm -hmm. right? Without asking you if you have a girlfriend, right? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Has, has anybody ever told you, Walter, hey, la esposa no se enoja? Has it ever happened to you? In order to, to try to get information about if as boyfriend, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, it happens. Okay, it happens. So, anyways, that is indirect, right? So they're asking your question directly. However, that's not the structure, you know, that that people usually follow, right? So in today's agenda, guys, we're gonna go over, you know, we're gonna learn how to use indirect questions, okay? Which is the topic that we have, you know, in our agenda, well, in the, the platform, right? So you've gone over the exercises so far, so, but we're gonna go over the rules. We're gonna learn about the why, you know, why that, ha that happens, right? Okay, guys, so according to what you've done so far from the platform, what is, what is an indirect question? What, what 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 would be an example of an indirect question? Indirect questions are uh, when someone asks and and says something, and then the other says, "Some uh, she told me, or she says that yesterday she got an accident, or something like that." I don't know. So she it. told me that yesterday she got into an accident. Hmm, okay, that sounds more <laughs> like re reported speech, right? Reported speech. Oh, reported speech. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yes, re right. reported sorry, speech. Right. Yes, but that's okay. Reported speech yes. is not the same as an indirect question, guys. Okay. Yes. Yes, you are right. right. So, so yeah, yeah. All right. I understand why you know the confusion, but no, it's not the same. Okay. All right. So, um. So, anyways, uh. So. So then what it, what is it guys? What is it? Sorry guys. So what is it? What do you think? Indirect questions. Tell him that I want something. Maybe. Tell him that you want something. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So tell him, okay. Very good, guys. So how do you make a question? What is the basic structure of a question? It's like something that they all share in common. What do you think? Auxiliar. The auxiliary? Yes. Mm -hmm. Auxiliar. Right. So we have the auxiliary, right? What about a W a WH word? What about a WH word? Yes. Oh, maybe also a okay. WH plus a uh, value auxiliar. Okay, so we yeah. have, usually we have okay. WH word, right? WH word. 
All right, and then we have um, a, an auxiliary, right? This yes. is, guys, yes. okay, this is the, the basic structure for questions, right? So simple present, right? So you will have W word plus auxiliary plus what? The subject. Okay, plus subject, right? Plus what else? The verb. Main Base form, right? Verb. Okay, okay, very good. What about simple past? So, kind of like the same Base. thing, right? Base form. Subject. Base form. So you will have. Yes. So you will have subject. What did she do, right? Based form of the verb. What about uh, present perfect? Present perfect. Have a verb. Well, it's have. always it's always yeah, yeah. The auxiliary is have, right? You you do have an auxiliary, right? Subject. Have, right? What okay? What have you, right? Subject, right? Okay, and then you know. Past participle. Past participle, right? Okay, et cetera, right? So if you see guys, okay, one thing that they share in common, right? You're, you're always gonna have this part, right? Mm -hmm. That is a direct question, right? A direct question, guys, is, you know, how you make a question. And and the problem, guys, the reason why it's important to learn this is because I hear a lot of people, I hear a lot of people, hold on, guys. Mm -hmm. So I hear a lot of people do this, guys. Okay, so I want you to tell me. I'm going to say something in Spanish, and I want to see how you say it because every single, every single person that I know, guys, like let's say 90%, no, maybe like, yeah, 90% of people I know who learn Spanish in El Salvador make this mistake. Even if they work in call centers, even if they teach sometimes, you know, like if you see someone from basic English, most of the times, like someone who teaches basic English or intermediate English, like if they're in that level, right? Like they usually go for basic, um, they would make this mistake, you know, sometimes, right? Sometimes, because if someone teaches basic, you know, they actually are pretty good because basic is super hard to teach actually. Very, very hard guys. Um, because you have to, you know, if you don't want to speak Spanish, right? It's really hard to teach. So, but usually guys, usually, you know, um, this error is not corrected and that is a problem okay teachers need to correct this mistake so i want you to tell me guys okay i want you to tell me um quería saber qué te dijo ella how do you say that in english i know to, no. I, know. I know to know what, what do you say her no i know to know. i would okay. like to know what she said Okay. okay, okay, very good. Sandra, keep that thought. Thank you very much. Okay, Walter, what do you say, Walter? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mistake. <laughs> so I want you to I want you to translate this on your own. Okay. So I want you to tell me. Okay. Uh quería. I'm not gonna use tilde. Uh, I'm not gonna use the, the tilde guys because I don't have it in this keyboard, okay? <laughs> but I know quería has a you know I would know. Quería saber qué um, opinas sobre esto. Okay. You. you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Quería saber cuál es tu opinión sobre esto. Okay. So, so this, guys, how do you say this in English? All right, Sandra, I know that I you know. I know that you know, Sandra. Give me okay, one. Okay, okay. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. I, teacher, I, I think that I uh, I wanted to know what do you think about that? Very good. Good job. Okay, right? About. Right. All right. About, about this, right? About this. Okay, okay. Very, very good. Uh, Walter, what do you think, Walter? I will, you know. What? I will know. 
I want to know, like this, I want to know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What do you think about it? About it? What do you think mm -hmm. about it? Okay, question mark or no question mark? Uh, yes, question mark. Yes, question mark, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna ask guys the last, yes, Jose, go ahead. Sorry, Jose, I'm not seeing your, your hand. I'd like to know. Uh, what is your, your opinion about this? Okay, so I'd like to know what is your opinion about this. Okay, all right, all right, very good, very good, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. <laughs> all right, so you said, I'd like to know what is your opinion about this, right? I would like. To. I would like to know what is your... <laughs> hold on. Yes. <laughs> oh, ah, Jesus. <laughs> All right. So I would like to know what is your, you know, opinion about about that, right? Okay. Question mark or no question mark? No. 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 No question mark. Okay. All right. No. You guys. You guys know. You guys are the teachers. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. I'm going to ask guys the last person to turn on the camera, okay? The last person to turn on the camera, okay? So if you have the camera turned off, I'm going to ask you. All right, you got five seconds, guys. Five seconds, okay? Salganse del baño, right? And turn on those cameras. Five, four, Roberto, Catherine, Helen. Three, two, one. Okay, Daniel. Give me your example, Daniel. May I know what is your opinion about this? Okay, may I know what is your opinion about, about this, that or this or this? Opinion about about that? Okay. Question mark or no question mark? Question mark. Okay. All right, very good. Helen Guerra. Go ahead, Helen. Um, okay. Um, I want to know what is your opinion about that? I think it's the same as the second one. I want to know what is your opinion about that? Okay. Opinion about that. Okay. All right. Question mark or no question mark? Yes. Question mark. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, Catherine, what do you think, Catherine? I think it's the same like the second one. I want to know what do you think about it, about this in this case? All right, in this case, very good. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, very I good. Mean, guys. I want to know what is your opinion about this and question mark. Okay, uh, all right. Y yes. Uh, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? Okay. Right. Yes, it's question mark. Yes. Okay, with a question mark. Okay, hold on. All right, okay. Oh my God, I wanna move all of these guys without having to choose them individually. Anyways, we do that. There you go, almost, almost there, right? And there you go, okay. All right, very good guys. So these are, uh, I'm sorry, Yancy, can you repeat the, 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 the one that you what gave What do me? you think? What do you think? What do you, what think? do you think? Yes. Okay, what do you think about this? About this in question mark, yes. Me too. Tell, tell, me, tell me. Who, okay. who, who's talking? Who's talking? Oh, Sandra? This is me, Sandra. This is me, Sandra. Okay, right. hold hey. on, Sandra. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know that you know the answer. Come on. <laughs> I know that you know the answer. No, it's okay. I'll let you I'll let you give the answer, okay? But i I want to explain something first, guys. All right, guys. So guys, let me ask you something. First of all, do should we use a question mark here? Yes or no? I want to know what do you think about this? No. Yes or no? No? No. No, because no, no, no question. question. Okay, who gave me this one? No. Who gave me this one? I want to know. I want to know what do you think about this? Who gave me this one? So let's say, okay, we don't have to use. No. All right. So very good. Guys, I'm going to tell you something, okay? All right. This is exactly the reason why you are here, okay? Because you need to learn about this. You need to correct these mistakes. All of these guys, all of these examples are 
I am so sorry to say this. Wrong. Right? Wrong. But all of these examples are incorrect. Okay. So <clears throat> if we were to do that, the toy or the tuffle, all right, this would be right. Zero <laughs> points here. Todos aquí se sacan cero. All right, okay. everybody. So I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, but but let's analyze things, guys. Okay, let's let's analyze this in a scientific manner. Okay. Remember that I showed you this, guys. This is what, guys. This is the basic structure of a question. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, so guys. What do you think about that? It is the basic structure of a question. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me ask you something. If this is the basic structure of a question, what is this? Is this a question? No, no, it isn't. Okay, so let me ask you something. Okay, what about this? Is this a question? No. no. <laughs> so why do we have a question mark here? Ah. You put it, you put it. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. So, okay, so why do we have an auxiliary here? <laughs> yes. What do you think about this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Jancy. Hold on, yes, I know that you know, right? No, yeah. no, Sandra, Sandra, Sandra is the one. No. Okay, so guys, so what do you think about this? I want to know what do you think about this, but but guys, listen, listen, pay attention to this. Yes. What do you yeah. think about this, right? And there should be a question mark here then, right? <clears throat> what do you think yeah. about this? Is the structure for what? This is a structure for the question, right? Yes. 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 Okay, guys. Okay, but so why do we have this if this is what we want to know? You know? Why do we have this? Why do we have that clause? Is this a question, yes or no, guys? Yes. No. 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 It's not. <laughs> if, it is, if it is not a question, why do we have an auxiliary? Ah, right? <laughs> It's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay, right? Calm down. You're going to learn. Don't worry, okay? So this is incorrect, all right? So this is incorrect, all right? What do, you, what do you think about this? Now, what do you think about this is correct, but this is a direct question, right? So it's not mm -hmm. the right example, so it's incorrect, all right? Um, okay, so what do you, I want to know what do you think about it in question mark? We have this. Over here, right? Hold on. I'm gonna mark. You know what? I'm gonna mark down the um the mistakes here. So this and this, right? I would like to know what is your opinion about that. What is the mistake here? Now that you notice the pattern, uh, the pattern. What is the mistake here, guys? The auxiliary. What is and what is the auxiliary here? No, is <laughs> there is it? Is is and we have a question mark we shouldn't have mm -hmm. a question mark, right mm -hmm. may i know what is your opinion about that now this is a direct question i don't want direct questions okay all right so this is incorrect because we should not have direct questions here right i told you i want you to translate this Quería saber cuál es tu opinión sobre esto, okay nobody has been able to translate it so far just sandra but I'll, I'll give her the chance okay i want to know what is your opinion about that again guys what is wrong with this sentence Mm. Yeah, the structure is not. Is correct. and that. You should not have <laughs> is, is right. Is and, and question, mark, question mark. Question mark. All right. Very good. All right. So obviously this is wrong here. All right, guys. So congratulations. That is usually, guys, what happens when people start working in call centers. You know, nobody corrects these mistakes because. Even mm -hmm. teachers, guys, think that this is correct. And that is absolutely not correct, guys. Sandra, go ahead, Sandra. What is the right answer? I don't know, really. <laughs> what, <laughs> what I have is, what I have is, would you mind giving me your uh, opinion about this? No, no. Oh, you see? Yeah, that, 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 is, that is a direct question. That is a direct question. No. I, I mean, it is oh, correct. No, okay, actually. so the structure is correct. Okay, don't get me wrong. If you say, what do you think about these? And man, I know what is your, well, this is not correct. This one, what do you think about these? And and what was your question, Sandra? The question? Yeah. What, what, My what question? Was, yeah. Uh, would you mind giving me your opinion about this? 
Okay, question mark or no question mark? Question mark, yes. Of Very good, guys. Very good. The example here, right? The example here, this is a question, but it's not an indirect question. All right, so all of these mm -hmm. examples, guys, are incorrect. Do I have another example, guys? Does <laughs> like anybody that. else want to try it? <laughs> Easy. Say a teacher, please. All right, very good. So, guys, very good. So, one thing I want you to remember, guys. An indirect question, and remember this, okay? An indirect question, <clears throat> all right? An indirect question is not, okay, is not. Repeat, guys. An indirect not. question is I'm not. Indirect. It's not. It's not. Okay, everybody repeat it, guys, because I want you to remember it. An indirect question is not. An indirect question is not. It's not speech. Okay. All right. It's, an indirect question is not a question, okay? Not a right. question. In, the, in the sense, guys, okay? So no question mark, okay? Okay, there is no question mark, guys. No, no question. You don't have any question marks, okay? <clears throat> that is what we need to know, okay? So, all right. So, for example, all right, we're going to go back to the presentation and we're going to learn now, okay? So, indirect questions are, who would like to help me read? I can't see anything. Oh, you're not seeing the presentation? I'm so sorry. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Okay. Are you seeing the presentation now? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. I Very good. You. So, who would like to help me read? Me teacher. Me teacher. Go ahead. What is an indirect question? Indirect question are questions that are not expressed as direct questions. Instead, they are expressed as a as a statement followed by a question. Followed. Repeat. Followed. 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 Okay, very good. So, anyways, all right. So, guys, a direct question, a direct question, guys, is this, okay? They follow this structure. This right here, guys, okay? This right here, all of this, this is a direct question, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? If they yes. follow that structure, that is a direct question question all right and they always have a question mark a direct question <clears throat> repeat guys a direct question always have a question mark uh, direct a direct question, direct question, question always have a question, have a question. question. Have a question. Have a question mark okay very question. good exactly okay and they follow guys the structure of hey you know what a wh word optional right on yes. an, an auxiliary right an auxiliary and then the subject and the base form or the past participle, okay, they follow that, okay? So let me ask you something. If we say, guys, I want to know, what do you think about this? I want to know, is this guy's a WH question? No. No. No, no, it isn't. No. Is this an auxiliary? No. 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 It's a no. clause, right? So, right from, right from the get-go, we know that this is a, an indirect question, right? And now you're wondering, oh, but you have what over there, guys? We talked about clauses. We talked about noun clauses. We talked about uh, relative clauses, right? Mm -hmm. This is not, guys. That re, guys, that is not a wh word. Okay. okay. Uh, reason, the, uh, it's okay. a relative pronoun, right? Mm -hmm. Got it. It's a relative pronoun. Now, the reason mm -hmm. why, okay, listen. The the reason why we make that mistake is because you're thinking in Spanish. Uh, ah, that's the problem. I would like to know, okay, what? No, stop thinking like that, guys, okay? <laughs> right? No, translation is just trouble, guys, okay? Guys, so if you see this, it's a direct question. So let me ask you this. Is this a direct question, yes or no? This one right here. Is that a direct question, yes or no? No. No, no. right? Very good. What about this one? I want to know what you think about it. Is this a direct question, yes no. or no? No. no, right? I would like to know what your opinion about that, and we should add is here, right? Yeah. Is this a direct question, yes or no? No, what's your opinion? No, what your opinion about that is, okay? I'm going to teach you how to say that. May I know what is your opinion about that? Is that a direct question, yes or no? 
don't know. Guys, may I know what, and this is wrong, by the way, what your opinion about that is? Is this a direct question, yes or no? Yes, so. Yes, because, guys, auxiliary, yeah. subject, got it? Guys, it follows uh, this question, yeah. all right? This question follows this rule, okay? So, may I know what your opinion, now, this is wrong. What is your opinion? Because you have a question here, and this is a big mistake. Listen, check this out, guys. May I know? Is this the structure of a question, yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, so let me ask you this. What is your opinion about that? Is this a structure of a question, yes or no? Yes. 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 Exactly. So, yes. so, all right. So, let me ask you something. What why do we have two questions? What do? We, why do we have the structure of two questions within a question? <laughs> so, do you see that mistake? Yes. The mistake is that we have two questions within one question. How is that possible? Right. That is not possible. Okay. You cannot do that. Okay. This is like. This is. You know what this is called, guys? This is called. You know. Be trained grammar. That's what it's called, you know? Ponerle los cuernos a la grammar, okay? You don't do that, right? Right? You do that with your husband, with your wife, right? No, don't do that, right? So anyways, so that's like be trained grammar, guys, right? You should not do that. It's a question. It's a question structure within another question structure. So if you want to ask a question about uh, like this, it should be, may I know what, right? And we do not, you know, what? Remember, guys, this is a... How do we call what? What is this here? It's a relative pronoun, right? Friend. All right, and the relative yeah, pronoun is not followed, guys, by, by an auxiliary. It's followed by a noun, okay? In this case, your opinion, all right? So anyways, so in this case, right? So may I know what your opinion about that and then is at the end and then a question mark, okay? So this is direct or indirect? Direct. Direct, direct, direct guys. Direct. If it has if it has a question mark, if it needs a question mark, it is a is direct it? question. Got it? Yes, yes. All right. In Spanish, guys, si necesita la estructura de una pregunta, es una pregunta directa. Okay? Got it? Yes. All right. Very good. I want to know what your opinion about that is. Is this direct or indirect? Indirect. Indirect. Right? indirect. Okay, so let's learn how to build indirect questions, right? All right, so anyways, why is it important to know about indirect questions, okay? Indirect questions, guys, right, are essential because, oops, oh, hold on, guys, I blocked my computer. Okay, so can you see me now? Hello? Yeah. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so guys, Indirect questions are essential because they're used in different contexts, okay? We use them in, in conversations which are formal. For example, guys, let's say that you have a reporter, right? You have, do you know what a reporter is? So you have a reporter, right? Yes. And you yes. have the, the microphone here, okay? This is a microphone, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, ice cream. Okay, so ice cream. So you have, nice you know, thing. yeah, exactly. right. So, so you have someone, you know, you have Don Don Chaparro there, right? So, Mr. Chaparro, <laughs> right? Mr. Chaparro is, you know, um, it's talking to the president, right? And the president is expecting to know, you know, wants to know what what they say, right? So, this is the president, right? So, guys. If you know, if you have a reporter like this, right, they will ask questions, right? And they don't say, you know, you know, like if you want it to be formal, right? They won't say like, hey, um, uh, well, do, do people, you know, no, hold on, let's, let's ask a, let's ask a question for the president. What's the question that we would ask to the president, guys? Sorry. What's a question that you would ask to the president? Um, All right. Do you, um, did you get everyone vaccinated? 
right? Direct or indirect question, guys? What is it? Direct. Direct. All right. Now, if you were to ask this, guys, to the president, do you think that this is, is this how you would do it, to be honest? Hey, hey presidente. Right? And you whistle and everything, right? Right? <laughs> president. Hey, did you get everyone vaccinated? Is that how you would talk to the president? Mm -mm. No. No. Not as polite. No, right? No. So how would you do it? El señor presidente me estaba preguntando si ya, right? Me estaba preguntando, right? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Right? Very good. Okay. So that's the reason why, guys, that's the reason why indirect questions are important, okay? They're a little bit more formal, and in certain situations, they're actually necessary, like talking to the president, for example, right? So, so what do we do, guys, okay? So, how do we change, you know, direct questions to indirect questions, okay? We changed a couple of things. We changed the, we changed the, the we changed, the, hold on, all right? We changed the, the, word, the order. word order, right? So this one thing that we changed, the word order, yes. we changed the, all right? We changed the, reported we, we use a reporting verb, okay? For example, ask, wonder, or no. I was wondering, I would like, I wanted to know, I would like to ask, okay? Those are reporting verbs, guys, okay? All right? So that's, those are the things that we change in, we you know, when we talk about indirect questions, okay? Now, we do not, so we use, guys, interrogative pronouns and adverbs, right? Indirect questions, use interrogative pronouns, okay? And what are interrogative pronouns, guys? Who, what, which, who's. Right? Who, whom, what, which, who's, right? Or we can use adverbs such as how, when, where, and why to form questions, right? We're, don't worry about that right now, okay? Do not worry about that. You don't need to memorize this, okay? But know that we are going to use, guys, relative pronouns, okay? That's what we call relative pronouns. Relative pronouns, of course, the same. All right. Or you can call them, like, it's just because we use more. We use also why, you know, how, when, where, right? So those are interrogative pronouns, okay? Um... We also change, guys, uh, an indirect question, right? Well, change depending on the type of question. We're gonna see that because we have, we have what what type of questions do we have, guys? We have yes or no question. Very good. So we have no yes. Question. Okay, so we yes, have yes, no questions. Yes or no, right? Yes, no questions. Right. We have W H questions. Right, we have what else do we have? We have questions. questions, right? Questions, All right? We're not, no, we're not going to talk about tech questions. No, tech questions are not part of you know direct questions, okay? Not, 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 not in that sense, okay? All right, so this is what we do, guys. In yes or no questions, okay? All right, so yes or no questions is the first thing that you know, one of the first things that we can change, right? Yes or no questions, guys, are. They, they start with something. What do they start with? The auxiliary. The auxiliary do or does, right? Or is, right? Or did. All right. Or did, right? Or or um or do where it. was, right? With the verb be. Does. So so it is it starts with an auxiliary. It doesn't start with a wh word. Okay. All right. It starts with an auxiliary. If it is present perfect, guys, what would be the auxiliary that it starts with? Have. Mm -hmm. Have, right? So, mm -hmm. have you, right? So let's let's have an example, guys, of yes or no questions. All right, can I raise this, guys? Oh. I will erase it. <laughs> all right, very good. So, <laughs> all right, so let's start. Let's let's uh, let's do the direct questions here, okay? Direct questions, okay? So anyway, so direct questions, and then we have the example, right? Uh, in simple present, guys. Yes or no question? Yeah. Yes or no question? Does, does. Cheyenne, does Cheyenne in like my mother? Does Cheyenne like my mother? Right? Very good, right? Or you can say is, 
Cheyenne? My father. Is Cheyenne my father? Right? Very good, right? Very good. In simple past, what if you do in simple past? Simple past. Was. Was. Was Cheyenne? A good father. Your brother. A good father. Very good. What's your name? A good fa father, right? Right. That that's a uh that's a the verb be, right? What about uh with do or with did? Did Cheyenne, right? Like my mother. Did Cheyenne like my mother? Right? What about simple future? Will. What? Will Cheyenne. Will be Cheyenne a good father? Guys, simple future. Simple future is simple, right? Simple. Will? Will Cheyenne. 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 Like my mother, right? Or is Cheyenne, right? Going to like my mother. No, no, uh, going to be, right? To be a good father. So, okay. So, all right, guys. So we have enough examples. What about just one more, right? Present perfect. Present perfect. How? <coughs> have, have, have you ever gone to Cheyenne. Mexico? Cheyenne. No, let's talk about Cheyenne. I, yes, right? yeah. this, Cheyenne. this class is about <laughs> Cheyenne, right? So, has Cheyenne, has Cheyenne? Has Cheyenne, Cheyenne liked, Cheyenne liked, liked, liked my mother? My mother. <laughs> what about my is mother. um? Has Cheyenne yeah. liked my mother? Has Cheyenne right? Has Cheyenne, Cheyenne, Cheyenne right? Cheyenne. Has Cheyenne um? Being a good father, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now what are these questions, guys? How do we call all these questions? All of these questions, guys, how are, how are they called? Direct questions. They direct. are called direct questions. Very good, right? So these are called direct questions. Yes. All right, yeah, they are direct questions. What type of direct questions are they? Yes or no questions. Direct and indirect. Questions. All right. Yes, these are called yes. Right. Yes. Yes or no questions. No questions. Very good. And yes what? or no questions. Very good job, guys. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. So how do we turn them into indirect questions? That's my question. Okay. So this is the part that you have to pay attention to. We're going to continue talking about this, guys, but. How do we turn these, you know, how do we turn these questions into indirect questions, okay? So now you can do this guys by using some introductory phrases, okay? You need to use an introductory phrase, okay? Um, for example, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so. All right. So, for example, right, we can say, let's use an let's use an introductory phrase from the platform. Or actually, guys, you know what? Let me ask you something in Spanish. Okay, think about think about and and I'm sorry, guys, but I needed to to um, correlate this to to you know with with Spanish. If it is easier for you that way, I wanted to know, guys, how you you know think about when you were kids, right? Think about when you were kids and you were afraid of, you were like very shy, you know, and you were like, you know, you wanted to ask your, your you wanted to ask your teacher about something. And you were like, Mire, me preguntaba si. right? Yes or no? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, quería saber. Right? Yes or no? <laughs> right? Yes, the question, good. teacher. So, all right, very good, guys. So, guys, you can do it in many, many different ways. All right. So what are some of the examples that we got from the platform? What are some of the introductory uh, phrases to asking direct questions that we got in the platform? You use if. We have a, we like have a couple know. of phrases. I would like to know. Very good. Right. I wonder. 
Okay, I wonder, I'd like to know, I can't understand. Okay, so, so the first question, right? So first of all, guys, the structure. Okay, let's talk about the wonderful structure for indirect questions, okay? Structure. So the structure, guys, goes like this, okay? For yes or no questions, okay? Indirect questions, you know? I want the review. Of yes and no questions, okay? Indirect questions of yes or no questions, right? So the structure is, first of all, you we need a introductory phrase, right? For example, I wonder, hey, well. let's, you can say I was wondering, I wonder, I wonder if, right? I wonder if, uh, what else, what else? Do we, we have a I lot, guys. Would you mind? Uh, I wonder, I'd like to know, no, not would you mind. Okay. No, not not like that. Okay, you can uh no. You can use it, but but don't use it here because you're gonna get very confused. I can use it, but but don't 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 you know don't okay. involve it here, okay? Because you're gonna get confused. All right, I'd like to know, right? So we have I'd like to know. What else? What else do we have, guys? You can say I was wondering. I know, guys, that this 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 one example, the last example here, is not in the platform, right? But you know, it's one way you can say it, right? I was wondering. I like you to know. tell me. No, not could you tell me? Because could you tell me is a is that is that the structure of a sentence or a question, no. guys? Could you tell me? It's a question, right? Could you tell mm -hmm. me? Is a direct question, okay? So okay, so we need an we, we need an introductory phrase. What else do we need? So the question, guys, right? We need the yes or no question. But but actually, yes or no sentence. Okay, we're 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 gonna call it like that. Okay, a yes or no sentence. Okay, because it's gonna be followed by something else. Right? I wonder. Let's. I just let's just leave. I wonder. Right. All right. I wonder, or I'd like to know. Yes, usually here we're gonna use you're, we're gonna use if or we're gonna use whether. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can use either one of these. Okay, all right, and then you know you need the sentence, right? So let's all right. So let's do something, guys. Let's transform the first sentence in simple present. Does Cheyenne like my mother? How do you turn it? into a yes or no i mean how do you turn it into an indirect question i wonder if cheyenne like my mother very almost good almost perfect good job right good job bad simple present right so i wonder very good i wonder if cheyenne right remember like, guys, like like guys third person Likes, likes my mother. Likes, likes my mother. Very good, right? Right. So we're not saying, guys. I I wonder if Cheyenne does Cheyenne like my mother? No, right. I wonder if Cheyenne likes my mother. Good job. Plus for you guys. Good job. Okay. So guys, if you're not. Do me a favor, guys. If you're not participating, I I want you every time, guys. Every time that you're not speaking, I will. I, I want to ask you to please, to please, 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 please mute your microphone, guys, because you might have a lot of people talking in the background, right? Uh, so it's okay if you want to participate, but just unmute it when you want to participate, okay? Right, very good. Um, because I can hear people in the background, guys. Okay, very good, guys. So, anyways. I wonder if Cheyenne likes my mother. Okay, so do me a favor, guys. I will give everybody, let's just five minutes, okay? I want you to transform every single sentence that we got here. Did Cheyenne like my mother? Was Cheyenne a good father? Well, Cheyenne, we have, we have, uh, is Cheyenne my father, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Transform all the seven questions that we have here into indirect questions. Try your best. If you can't do it, that's fine, but try your best, okay? I'm going to give you five minutes, and then we're going to go over the answers, okay? All right, so let's do that, guys. Let's do that. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen.
right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask people who have their camera turned off first, okay? So let's start with Lourdes. Hello, Lourdes. Lourdes, uh, what is the what do you have for does Cheyenne like my mother? Oh, I'm sorry, for Ichayan, my father. All right, Daniel, what do you have for is Chijan uh, is Chijan my my father? What do you have for that? I'd like to know if Chijan is your favorite, is your father. Very good. If Chijan is 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 my father, right? Because, but but yeah. Um, if you understood your father, right? Then um, that is the only part that you need to correct that. Um, you know, the possessive adjective, right? But other than that, that's that's good, right? I, I was wondering, right? Or I would like to know if Chayanne is my father. my father. Very good, good job. Uh, very good, thank you. Helen Guerra, what do you have for, did Chayanne like my mother? Helen? All right, Catherine Sanchez, what do you have for Dichayan like my mother? I have Dichayan. Uh, I was wondering if Chayan liked my mother. Good job. Thank you, Catherine. Josue, what do you have for what Chayan a good father? Yes, uh, I wonder if Chayan liked my mother. Good job, Helen. Thank you. Josue, do you have what Chayan, what Chayan a good father? I wonder if Chayan was a good father. Good job. Thank you very much. Right. Simple future. Um, will Chayan like my mother? Uh, let's go. Anyway, guys. Okay. I'll let you give me this answer. Who wants to give me the answer for will Chayan like my mother? I wonder if, if Chayan will like my mother. Good job. Thank you very much. All right. Is Chayan going to be a good father? Hey, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, I'd like to know if uh, Chayan is going to be a good father. Good job. Thank you, Evelyn. All right. Uh, has Chayan liked my mother? Second to there last. Is no time. There is no time for the platform, teacher. There is no time for the what? For the platform. What do you mean? You told us to help us. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll help. guys. We still have tomorrow. Don't worry. Right. Yeah. Today's I wonder if Sayang has liked my mother. Very good. Good job. Thank you. And the last one. Who wants to give me the last one. I wonder if Sayang has been a good father. Good job, guys. A big applause for you guys. Wonderful job. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Did you learn anything new today, guys? Yes. 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 All right. Very good. Very good, right? So tomorrow, we're still going to continue with indirect questions, but we're going to talk about um, questions with 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 uh, relative pronouns, right? Like like um, open-ended questions, right? How to turn them into indirect questions and we're going to have some practice too, okay? And tomorrow, I promise you that we will go over the answers from the platform, okay? No worries. We're going we're gonna to go over them, okay? So come early tomorrow, guys. Guys, I don't know. I don't remember how many of us were here the first day. I think it was like 19. Come to class, guys. Guys, come to class, right? I know that it's been raining, you know, some days, right? But if you need anything, guys, come to class because it's only one hour, right? Come to class. Nothing happens to me if you don't come to class, but I'm just saying, you know, learn. And I also like to have, you know, a, a very interactive class, okay? I think it's good, right? If you need anything, let me know, guys. Um, That's that's okay. Do we, ha do we have any questions, guys? Girls? Are we good? No question, teacher. All no, right, okay. I was wondering if you had any questions. See? 
I agree. <laughs> so, and anyways, guys, thank you very much. I have another class now. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.